Hello, so this is the South Today Gallery in Oxford and I thought I'd give you a little tour of what we've got. This is the vision mixer where the director sits. These are the various things that the director can cut to to make a programme. And the most important one is that one there straight ahead, which is the network monitor. If I put BBC One on there, you can see The Apprentice, which I'm trying not to watch because I uh, like The Apprentice. The monitor there on the left is uh, the preview monitor. It's what the director's chosen to come next. Camera three there with the plasma in shot. Camera two is the uh, mid shot just to the presenter with the backing. And camera one is where a guest would sit. Normally camera three for the headlines. We've then got play out lines for TXA, which is the first headline and TXB, which is the BBC One network symbol that we're gonna use, which tonight is Birdwatcher's Dusk. That screen there is the Presfax, which is the uh, schedule from London from presentation. There's 23 minutes and 43 seconds left on The Apprentice. And then all those are all the trails in the junction up to the 10 o'clock news, which is on air at 10 o'clock tonight for 29 and a half minutes. Up there on OS2 is Alexis. She's recording our weather forecast as we speak. Uh, there in Southampton, she's at the other end of the A34. We've then got the Aston, which is uh, all of the captions that are gonna come up and that's controlled by this computer here, Big Ted. Uh, Big Ted uh, controls all our Astons. These are all the different captions we're gonna be transmitting tonight in our late bulletin. So that's the director's position. I shall tonight be on sound. Here's my position, those are my specs. I've got all of the uh, sound faders here, network here on the right. Was it premium? No. I don't want to listen to The Apprentice because I'm trying to watch it. Those are my outside sources. These are my replay lines in mono and stereo. And then I've got this fader, which is very useful because this is the instant replay, which is this device over here with all the music on it and network beds, headline beds and things. So I need to choose the appropriate one of these, which is the announcement tonight. This is the one I played at six o'clock. This is BBC One South from Oxford. Now the BBC News with Fiona Bruce and Geraldine Pierce. It's six o'clock. And all being well, I shall get the right one of those at 10 o'clock. Our running order tonight looks like this. So we're starting with headlines for uh, Dunn and Great Western Railway. We've then got uh, a lighting desk over here, camera racks here to make the exposure of the cameras correct, and then at the back here a, a graphics design station um, and a Jupiter terminal. This is the Aston, which is our caption generator. It's nearly 25 years old, but it still works after a fashion. And there is an Aston ready. It's all automatic, but the I still need to know how to use that. And then just through here is the studio. There we are. This is where Geraldine, our presenter, will sit for the late news bulletin. There is a computer hidden through the desk. Let's wake it up. Here is her computer. So when she's sitting here, she's sitting in here on her own looking at the two cameras which are over there. Let me get the autocue ready, there it is. Now under the desk is a foot pedal. There's my dodgy trainer. If I press the foot pedal down, the harder I press the foot pedal, the faster the script will go. So if I have a go at reading this, here a couple involved in a diplomatic row after their son died in a car crash say talks with the foreign secretary have left them angry and frustrated. So that's camera three with its autocue hood. There's camera two, and then over there is camera one. Camera one doesn't have an autocue hood because that normally points at a guest and they don't need an autocue. So there's the studio really. So there's the desk, there's a plasma screen there. There's another one over there, which we're not using tonight, so it's switched off. If I come all the way over here, there is a green screen. We very rarely use it, but you can see the cameras pointing at the set which is lit in the blue colours for the late bulletin. So that's kind of it really. Just through there you can see the control room as well. There's a quick look at the BBC Oxford studio.